Hello! Today I'm back and taking a break from all the painting videos by sharing a junk journal video. If you watched last week's video, you'll know that I'm currently doing an almost daily painting challenge, so I've been focusing most of my creative efforts on art at the moment. And I also didn't manage to get any midweek videos up of the speed paints I talked about, but as long as I make my Sunday upload, then I'm not going to be too harsh on myself. So today I wanted to get back into journaling. This is in my junk journal July journal. Um, it's a prompt challenge by Meg Journals that I'm still catching up with, but I'll pop a link to her original video down below. I still have quite a bit to go, but it's been really nice to just sit down and do some mindless journaling today. These pages took half an hour in total for both of them, but I'm not worried about being late to finishing my junk journal July because obviously it's not July anymore, but it's just been nice to have the prompts there for when I do want to do some journaling and I can just get on with it and, and give myself half an hour or so to be creative in a different way to the painting. So there are a couple of other videos on my channel sharing this journal. One is where I create the actual journal itself and create all the pages and set it up. And then the other one I've got on my channel shares the process for the first three prompts. Today I'm working on prompts four and five which are details and vintage. So currently you'll see that I'm working on the details page. One of the things that I've been doing consistently on the pages so far is stamping the title of the prompt. So you'll see I've popped that on the tag there on the left. And I just used a few things from my stash which I've put aside for this project, like the playing card and the bird and the tag. And then I added on the champagne truffles box lid, which I tore off some of the layers so it wasn't quite so thick. But there's not really any thought or reasoning behind this or what I've chosen. I just picked things that took my eye from the box. I'm not really too worried about the end result. Um, it's more of just I want to spend some time journaling and I really enjoy doing it. So it's just a nice way to take some time out of my day to be creative. I used a photo on this one as well, and that's just of some wildflowers, so I've got a box of photos which I've printed out and haven't used in my scrapbook or something, and it just goes into a big box of random photos so they don't always have a story to them, but they could just be a pretty photo that I printed out, like this one, and it just goes in the box for whenever I need a photo or want to add something to a page. And I thought this worked quite well with the details prompt because it's just some wildflowers on the side of the road and it just worked because there's a lot of details that you know you don't usually see um, and I know I often don't notice these sort of things so I just decided to use that for this page to add a bit of colour and loosely interpret it to the details prompt. I also added some stamps on the page and a hexagon which I'd previously cut out of a project life card where I'm going to add my journaling. So the next spread for the prompt vintage, I found this lovely photograph of my grandparents when I was rifling through the photo box for the other one and I thought that it would work really well for this journal prompt. So I already added the white paint to this spread which was when I was setting it up and I just used gesso for that. Um, and I do cover it up a bit, but it definitely helped to make the newspaper print on the left a bit stronger. I'm adding a vintage pocket, so again that ties in with the vintage theme and it's just an old book page from a book I got from a car boot sale. I didn't want to stick the photo down, although it's not the original, um, I didn't want to ruin it at all, so I just used these craft coloured photo corners which I got from Paper Chase to add the photo in there on the right. And along the top of the photo I've got some like, paper ephemera which I got from AliExpress and I went through those at the and I went through those at the beginning of the video as well just to show the different colours. But I cut one of those up and just added the tulip there onto the right hand page. And then these stickers are again from AliExpress from a recent haul and I just really liked the purple tone in this foxglove and it worked really well with the photo so I added that in as well as the purple Canada stamp 
Last time I spoke to my grandma, she talked about when they went traveling, um, her and my granddad, and so it just was a really nice little nod to that conversation uh, when they had their road trip around Canada. So here are the final spreads. Again, I, I added the title vintage uh, using the little stamps on the right hand side, and I'll add my journaling onto the cardboard bit that goes into the pocket. Uh, here's the close-up of the detail spread so I added in that really old leaf half of it's missing now but I just like the way that I add some texture to the page and then there's some more space for my journaling in there in the little flat bit in the middle and I'll talk a bit more in my journaling about details just to try and tie that in and then the pink packaging there on the right just flicking through the rest of the book now but i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and if you want to see more videos then please do hit subscribe and i'll be back next sunday with a new one i hope you have a lovely week see you later